So today I made this video on how to teach you to integrate ChatGPT with Go High Level for Dummies. Because I've looked everywhere on the internet and every video I find when I watch it, I get excruciatingly painful in my heart because they're way too long, way too complex. Some of the workflows I see go from here all the way down to here and you do not need that. Because today I'm gonna to show you in just four simple steps how you can do this. You don't need any third party integrations such as Zapier or Pebbly. I'm gonna show you how to do this from Go High Level alone. So let's get into the video. So this is my complete workflow of how to integrate ChatGPT with my Go High Level. And as I said before, there's only four steps. One, two, three, four. Super easy, zero Zapier or Pebbly integration. So the first step, you're gonna go add a workflow trigger. You're gonna go customer replied, click on that, and then you're gonna add a filter, select, and you're gonna go down reply channel and select whatever reply channel that you want. So in my case, I use GMB messaging. Then you're gonna save that trigger. All right, I'm not gonna save it because I already have it there. Second, you're gonna do the same thing again. Add customer replied, do that, add the filter. Same thing, you wanna add another reply channel add whatever messaging that you want. So I'm gonna use GMB messaging again. Add a second filter this time to this one and you want the has tag. And in the has tag, you're gonna to type in chat GPT, All right? So for mine, I already have one. If you don't have it, you, you're gonna come up something like this. You're gonna have it as an add new tag. But chat GPT, add that in and then save your trigger. Again, I'm not gonna save this one. So that's step one done. Step two, you're gonna go add your tag. So click on the plus button, type in tag, and then add tag. And then you're gonna go chat GPT. So the exact one that we created for this customer applied. Click that and then press save action. That's step two. Step three, we're gonna go and send this prompt to chat GPT. So again, press plus, and then there we go. We have chat GPT, and you're gonna simply click on that. Now, if you don't know how to turn your premium triggers on, I do have a separate video showing how to do this. And we're gonna type in our prompt. So I've already set up my prompt, and what I found is you have to be as specific as you can. The more specific, the better. So I told this that you're an appointment booking bot for Sky Social, which was my business, a software company that white labels go high level and resells the system. Respond in a tone that is friendly, human-like, and keep the message response within two to three sentences. You can make this longer, shorter, whatever you want. And this is the message. So this is the message body. You wanna note how there's little quotation marks here and how to get this message body, super simple. Press this tag looking button here and then scroll down, message, click on that, and then click on message body. Boom, all right? That's your prompt that you're sending to ChatGPT in order to get a response from it. And then the temperature, I've set it around at 0 0.5. Play around with this as much as you like. The more closer to zero you are, the more specific it will be in the response. The more higher it is, so let's say if you go one or two, it's gonna be a bit random. But what I found is 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 is a good range. Now I'm gonna save that action and that's step three. Now note that this will cost you a little bit of money and the exact cost is here because it is what we call a premium trigger but it is so much cheaper compared to using Zapier or Pebbly because look at this once you allow the premium triggers on you can have a hundred free executions at the start once those free executions are used up it only cost you one cent for every execution it is so much cheaper than Zapier because it's literally a quarter of the cost and if you're on the 497 plan, you can actually mark this up so that you can rebuild ChatGPT settings to other businesses and you can make a profit off that. So this is almost a no brainer. Super cheap, super cost effective. If you wanna use it yourself, you can also make money off this. Now back to the workflow. Last step, step four, we've got a response from ChatGPT. Now we need to reply to our customers. So we're gonna go plus, and you're gonna select an external communication. So you can select any of these here. I have GMB messaging, all right? Once you have that, you're gonna go custom values and then go down to chat GPT, go here and then click on response. So this is gonna send whatever chat GPT spat out 
and then we're going to send this to our clients to reply to them and going to go press save action. Now I'm not going to do that again. So that's the four steps. And then just make sure in the settings, you have this thing turned on allow re-entry. This just allows any customers that want to message you, even if they log out, because you don't want them coming in once. And then the second time they come back, they don't get any responses. Once you've done all that and you're going to press save. So now I'm going to show you a live footage of how everything works. So this is my complete workflow of how to integrate ChatGPT with my Go High Level. And as you can see, and as I said before, there's only four steps. One, two, three, four. Super easy, zero Zapier or Pabli integration. So the first step, you want to go add a workflow trigger. You're going to go customer replied, click on that. And then you're going to add a filter, select, and you're going to go down reply channel and select whatever reply channel that you want. So in my case, I use Google message G. So in my case, I use GMB messaging. Then you're going to save that trigger. All right. I'm not going to save it because I already have it there. Second, you're going to do the same thing again, add customer replied, do that, add the filter, same thing. You want to add another reply channel, add whatever messaging that you want. So I'm going to use GMB messaging again, add a second filter this time to this one. And you want the has tag. And in the has tag, you're going to type in chat GPT, All right? So for mine, I already have one. If you don't have it, you, you're going to come up something like this. You're going to have it as an add new tag, but chat GPT, add that in and then save your trigger. Again, I'm not going to save this one. So that's step one done. Step two, you're going to go add your tag. So go and so step two, you're going to go add your tag. So click on the plus button, type in tag and then add tag. And then you're going to go chat. GPT. So the exact one that we created for this customer replied, click that and then press save action. That's step two. Step three, we're going to go and send this prompt to chat GPT. Step three, we're going to go and send this prompt to chat GPT. So again, press plus, And then there we go. We have chat GPT and you're going to simply click on that. Now, if you don't know how to turn your premium triggers on, I do have a separate video showing how to do this and we're going to type in our prompt. So this is how you're going to get. And then here, and here we're going to go and type in our prompt. So I've already sent, so, so I've already set up my prompt. And what I found is you have to be as specific as you can. The more specific, the better. So I told this that you're an appointment booking bot for Sky Social, which was my business, a software company that white labels go high level and resells the system. Respond in a tone that is friendly, human-like, and keep the message response within two to three sentences. You can make this longer, shorter, whatever you want. And this is the message. So this is the message body. You want to note how there's little quotation marks here and how to get this message body. Super simple. Press this looking, press this tag looking button here and then scroll down message, click on that and then click on message body. Boom. All right. That's your prompt that you're sending to chat GPT in order to get a response from it. And then the temperature I've set it around at 0 0.5 play around with this as much as you like, the more closer to zero you are, the more specific it will be in the response, the more higher it is. So let's say if you go one or two, it's going to be a bit random, but what I found is 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 is a good range. So this is a good range. Now I'm going to save that action. And that's step three. Now note that this will cost you a little bit of money and the exact cost is here because it is what we call a premium trigger. So it is what we call a premium trigger, but it is so much cheaper, but it is so much cheaper compared to using Zapier or Pabli. Because look at this, once you, once you allow the premium triggers on, you can have a hundred free executions at the start, right? Once those free executions are, once those free executions are used up, it only cost you one cent for every execution. All right. And then us uh, one cent than any execution. And you can see it is actually so much cheaper than Zapier. It is so much cheaper than Zapier because it's literally a quarter of the cost. And if you're on the 497 plan, you can actually mark this up so that you can rebuild ChatGPT settings to other businesses 
and you can make a profit of that. So this is almost a no-brainer. And so this is almost a no-brainer. Super cheap, super cost-effective. If you want to use it yourself, you can also make money off this on the 497 plan. Now back to the workflow. Last step, chat. Last step, step four, is we're gonna, step four is we've got a response from ChatGPT. Now we need to reply to our customers. So we're gonna go plus, and you're gonna select an external communication. So you can select any of these here. I have GMB messaging, all right? Once you have that, you're gonna go custom values, and then go down to ChatGPT, go here, and then click on response. So this is gonna send whatever ChatGPT spat out, and then we're gonna send this to our clients to reply to them. And gonna go press save action. Now I'm not gonna do that again. So that's the four steps. And then just make sure in the settings, you have this thing turned on, allow re-entry. This just allows any customers that wanna message you, um, message you, they can message you twice or the second time, even, they, if, even if they log out. So even if they get locked, even if they log out because you don't want them coming in once and then the second time they come back, they don't get any responses. Once you've done all that and you're going to press save. Once you've done all that, you're going to press save. So now I'm going to show you a live footage of how everything works. So right now I am in my Sky Social Google Maps and we're going to go and start a chat. And we're going to say, hi, wait for a response and then ChatGPT will respond to me. There we go. And then let's say I want to book an appointment for next Friday. There we go. So what time do we want to book? So let's go, let's do next Friday at 1 p.m. There we go. And then so I'll go email jackielu0515 dot com for the booking here is also my number and I'm not going to even put a real number so I'm just going to go 0412345567 next Friday at 1pm all right and there we go great we've got our booking book at next Friday at 1pm now there are a few ways to navigate this. You can do what I did just then in the chat where you have ChatGPT book in everything for you, or you can add them custom links into the ChatGPT response saying, hey, this is the message body and type something like, your your goal is to get people, people to book in using this link. And then you insert link here. So it can be a Calendly link, it can be a website link, whatever you want, so that they can go in and book. So this is the super dumbed down version of how to connect ChatGPT with Go High Level. If you don't have Go High Level already, there's a link down below. I have a 30 day free trial for you, as well as a specific course to help you set up your SaaS business in just 24 hours. It's all for free, but it's only for my affiliates. So if you want that course, go click that link down below. Otherwise, I hope this has helped you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.